hey it's eve welcome back to my channel today i wanted to take you through my kind of like mini travel kit i invariably have a small sketchbook so this is one that's got quite thin paper which is perfect if i want to do like pencil sketching like that's quite a fun activity or i might do like little swatching out so this is like the colors that i wanted to take in january to egypt so a small book like this or like this little watercolor booklet again it's another one that i might like take out and just do sketching and like little watercolor sketchy things it depends on the materials that i think i'm going to use as to which sketchbook i take with me but generally they're on the smaller side recently i bought this it's a little i think it's designed for like oils or maybe like like turpentine or something so i haven't actually used it but i bought it because apparently you can put it on like a piece of card so i guess it wouldn't work on here no it's not going to work on here um so it's good that i didn't try it the other day but you've got your like weird little flexy thing and then in here and this has been upside down and all around with me when i went out the previous sunday and i just have water in it so i figured i could have one for clean water and one for dirty water that's gonna come loose so i'm just gonna set that to one side and then i actually have my art kit this is a smart fit pack that i got from it's like the size of my hand i actually got it off of amazon i always keep two clips so i have a slightly bigger one which is kind of big enough for any page that i might want to oh this is the museum i went to the other day it was really cool it's not as cool as it could be then it's free entry at the moment because they're changing exhibitions so it could have been better but you can see this is quite a wide clip so it will hold the page and then i have a smaller bulldog clip as well just in case i want to hold everything completely flat so those are the ones i normally take with me in terms of supplies on the inside i have an eraser i don't always take this it depends if i think i'm going to be doing more drawing or more painting if i feel like drawing is going to be key i take this and if i think painting then i don't i have a simple ruler for straight lines because i'm rubbish with perspective i have a selection of pigma microns which are always handy if i want to do some line drawings a white sigma sigma signo in case i want to add highlights to anything i've got my mechanical pencils which i really love this one is a 0.72b this one is a 0.3 and is currently an h and i have another one that's 0.5 coming to use with my 2h leads just so i've got a variety of tone when i'm drawing i also have this water-based tombow mono drawing pen this is nice if i want to put like some line work down and then i want to be able to move it with a bit of water like to create a wash that's really cool and then i have this like little mini portable eraser and then ticked in here i have a little bit of wax because i quite often like to scribble some wax on a page for a bit of resist and then on this side i have this is a new addition it's a brush pen from carandash which is a swiss company it has do you know what's really cool about this is it has this like tube ah see so i can suck water up from my water bottle when i'm out and about if i've run out um and then it's like a syringe almost. I can make it smaller, as small as I want to fit it back into my art kit. This is a water medium wash 4B sketching pencil. So again, I can use it on the page. If I want to add water, I can. This is just a standard, oops, sorry, a standard graphite. So a B, 5B, just if I want to get some heavy marks down. Refill, I don't always take these with me. Normally I would make sure that I have enough leads in the pencil but because i'm actually preparing to travel next week i've actually loaded this in ready and then i have two well actually let's deal with the odd bits first so i have like a little bit of putty eraser i need to find something to put it in someone said something like a contact lens case but i don't take i don't use contact lenses and i think that might be a bit extreme for a tiny bit of putty and then i like things like this for when i'm out if i'm using watercolor i just like things that can make like this i can blow through this was the it came off of a brush like a protective layer for a brush but i can blow through it <laughs> see um so if i want to move any wet paint around i can not that i always have a lot of wet paint but you know it's there this is in case i want to put something on or scrape or anything it's just a bit of clear plastic and then this is i think from like a washi tape or medical tape i forget but it's just a circle in case I want to like make marks or draw or something. So I keep that contained there. And then these are my two brushes that I have with me. This is a silver or a Tintoretto. I think this is the silver brush. It's very fine. You see? 
I can get really, really lovely fine lines with this one. And then this one, ooh, this one is a bit more, this one is the Tintoretto, Tintoretto number two. And this one can hold a bit more water. And it's nice because I use such small sketchbooks. Both of these have worked really well for me. I have a selection of other travel brushes that if I'm going further afield, I take those because they're bigger and more suitable for bigger sketchbooks. And then I've got this teeny tiny palette. So I wanted a small palette. I didn't realize this would be as small as it is. So it only has space for eight little colors. I'm gonna swatch them out for you now. Um, obviously, sometimes I'm like, this isn't enough and I don't take this with me and instead, I will take a small palette. So at the moment I've got my non-granulating Daniel Smiths in here. And this has like got a nice variety that I would take this out with me instead. And I just recently got my Roman Schmalls. So my plan is to at some point experiment with these out. But I know that these are a little bit um, stickier because of the way that they've been made. So I have an option. I, this is the one that I normally take because it can also fit in here if I wanted to take just this and a couple of brushes and pencils. Um, so this is the other option that normally comes with me. But anyway, that's my mini art supplies kit. And I thought I'd just show you swatching these out. So one of the great things about this teeny tiny kind of ridiculous palette is I can, I can just attach it and it's there like this. So that's really handy. But for now, I'm just going to put it down in front of us so you can see what I've got. Ignore this. This is the color chart because I already did that. I had recorded that section because I was bored the other day and I was like, oh, I'm going to do a chart with like the boulder and then more watered down. I got to record it um so unfortunately you have that to view as you can see but i'm afraid that's all you've got so i will just quickly swatch out my teeny tiny wooden palette we are gonna need some water let me just pour some out because my other water is dirty i just rescue to be in this glass jar so hopefully it's all okay it's the kind of weather where bugs are coming in the house constantly seeking sanctuary from the heat i suspect they're a little bit dirty because i do use them out and about a bit we're going to start with the buff titanium i think this one was from rembrandt i need to write this down actually because i got this one before i got the daniel smith one and the reason i got it is because people had said how beautiful it was and it really is beautiful And this brush, you can see it becomes, it comes into a really fine point. And I can, yeah, I just really love this brush. I used it when I was in Egypt at the beginning of the year. Then we're going to go, I'm trying to think, I don't want to go next to each other in case they run. Deep sea green, this is a schminky granule, super granulation this one is. You can see it's separating out already. And then we're going to go with the transparent red oxide, which I believe was the Daniel Smith. love these two colors together so basically this mini palette is just filled with colors that I happen to love prior to organizing my palettes oh, I love this it's so beautiful okay again you can see some granulation happening there as well and then the Soda Light Genuine is, of course, Daniel Smith. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Let's add a bit more mass tone. So pretty. And then let's come down here to the Quinacridone Violet, which again, I believe was the Daniel Smith. Oh, 
or is it the schminky? Hmm. Do you know what? I don't recall which one it was. I'll double check and I will let you know in the comments. I feel like it was Daniel Smith. Pilot. Yeah, it was actually because thinking about it, the schminky that I bought at the same time as the deep sea green was the magenta. Oh, see, isn't that pretty? Then we're going to go up to Serpentine Genuine, which we also know as a Daniel Smith. Look at that, it's going to be beautiful. Move it around the page a bit and let it do its thing. Oh my goodness. And then Quinacridone Gold. Now, this one could be Daniel Smith's, but it's probably Winsor & Newton because the Quinacridone Gold I have from Daniel Smith is Quinacridone Gold Deep, and this one is not as deep. So I believe this is the Winsor & Newton one. And then finally we have Pyrol Red, and I, this was Daniel Smith's as well, because I remember when it came at the same time. Oh, a bit more. Should have wetted these up to begin with. <laughs> I love how it flows. It's all so fabulous. a bit more color there okay so you can see it's like a very nice simple palette they're obviously not dry yet but you can see that from these colors i can get some lovely variations they're really pretty um so number six number six obviously deep sea green look at that isn't that just the most beautiful color but there's so many options like, obviously it would make for a vibrant, well, it does make for vibrant paintings when I'm out and about. Well, they're not really paintings, they look sketches. I just think they're so lovely. I love a small palette that's just filled with bright colours. And I think the Buff Titanium is a nice kind of like, if I want to like, just tone anything down, it works really nicely. You see the Serpentine Genuine, how it's already granulated out into separate colours. You've got like a slightly pinky brown and then the green. Oh, so happy. So that is my teeny tiny palette swatched out from my little travel kit it was my travel art kit art travel kit travel art kit i'm not quite sure which way around i'd say it basically it's my little art kit that i take with me and yeah i hope you enjoyed that give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and thank you so much for watching take care bye